Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This week, Niantic has announced a lot that will be going on in Pokemon Go. And one of them is the brand new season, Hidden Gems, which should be live by the time this video is up, and that will be on June 1st. 2023 until early September, and we're gonna start with the gold research event, which the timed research for is currently available in the in game store for one dollar or equal equivalent currency. Featured Pokemon that you'll be able to catch as shinies include Caterpie, Magikarp, Nosepass, Sableye, and Barboach. Pokestops may turn gold without a gold lore module. Roaming form Gimme Ghoul won't appear at Pokestops if a gold lore module wasn't used, but treasure hunting trainers may still find Gimme Ghoul coins when they spin the Pokestop. Wild encounters include Weedle, Bellsprout, Puchiana, Weisel, Timepole, Shelmet, Stuffle, Lickitung, and Azumarill, with the former being available as shinies, with the latter not being available as a shiny. As I already mentioned about the timed research, it's available in the store. The timed research will be available to buy until five PM on June third, which is the same time that this event ends. And you can gift your friends this ticket as well. Also announced is Beach Week, which will be on June 6th from 10 a.m. to June 12th, 8 p.m., which will mark the debut of Sandy Gas and Palo Sand into the game. There will be a global challenge that involves throwing when catching Pokemon. And you'll be able to catch the following Pokemon in the wild and that, that are available as shinies except for one. They are Tentacool, Shelter, Krabby, Alolan Executor, Horsey, Staryu, Meryl, Wingle, Whalmer, Squeal, Finneon, Dweeble, Female Frillish, Claw Launcher, and Mantine. Hot Leo is not available as a shiny as of this recording. The following Pokemon you'll be able to catch through field research tasks include Lapras with a Scarf, Female Frillish, Binnacle, Claw Launcher, and Santy Gas. You might also be able to catch Blastoids and Swamp Bird. Lapras, Female Frillish, Binnacle, and Claw Launcher are the only ones available as shinies while Santy Gas, Blastoids, and Swampert are not. Spotlight hours will be Krabby, Kabuto, Corkfish, Claw Launcher, and Crab Brawler. The time research for this event will reward you with 
a surfer pose for your avatar. If you complete complete it. And it will be available in the in-game store right around the same time as the event starts, but it will end on Sunday, June 11th at 8 p.m. local time. For raids, you'll get a Lolan Diglett, Hisuian Quillfish, Carvana, Phoebus, Sandy Gas, Blastoids, Gyarados, Lapras with the Scarf, Amolo Lola, and the Lake Trio. With the majority of them being available as shinies, except for Hisuian, Quillfish, and Sandy Gas. And for the first time ever, you'll be able to catch Uxy, Misprit, and Azelf as shinies. Mega Swampert. I'm, I'm, excuse me, I meant to say the Lake Trio is already available as shinies. Excuse me for the mistake the there. But the new avatar items you will get will be a Sandy Gas hat and a diving outfit complete with gloves. And of course, you'll be able to get. A, a diving mask too and of course we now ha have confirmation on what the next community day will be it will be Axew and it will be from June 10th 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time and you'll be able to catch its shiny form if you evolve Fraxiu to her axis during or up to five hours after the event it will learn the move Breaking Swipe the special research story is called Keeping Sharp for one dollar or equal equivalent currency you'll be able to unlock the special research story event bonuses include three times catching Pokemon two times chance for level 31 and, and up trainers to receive candy XL from catching Pokemon incense excluding daily incense activated during the event will last up to three hours one additional special trade can be made for a maximum of three for the day two times catch candy lore modules activated during the event will last up to three hours take up the five snapshots during community day for a surprise and trades will require 50 percent less stardust the bonus raids after Community Day will be Fraxu, and if you complete this raid locally instead of using remote passes, Axu will spawn for 30 minutes around the gym that that raid has been completed at. You'll be able to get, I mean, get new stickers related to this event by spending pokey stops opening gifts or buying them in the in-game store in other pokemon news on tuesday pokemon home was updated to version 3.0 which means now you can transfer Pokemon from generations 8 and 9 and back and forth via Pokemon Home. And if you transfer Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet into Pokemon Home, you'll get all three Paldalian starters as a mystery guest in the mobile version of a Pokemon Home on iOS or Android. 
and from there, you can transfer them into your Scarlet or Violet versions, and they'll have special abilities. One more thing. I'm proud to announce that I'm officially a professional merman with Mermaid Tasha, and I plan to document my adventures with her and my new pod this coming summer. If you want to see the video of my swim that I did during my audition a week ago, I'll be sure to post the link to that in the description below and up in the cards. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure!